We ask you to please rise for our opening prayer. Let us remember that we are the Holy Presence of God. God of all that is good, we thank you for gathering the communities of St. Francis and St. Bernard Cathedral together today. In the spirit of good sportsmanship, we ask for your special blessing of this game. That we may use our God-given talents to provide exciting competition and great reward for all athletes, coaches, family, and friends here to support us. For a safe and exciting game, we pray in gratitude for this opportunity tonight. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Please remain standing now for the play of our national anthem.
three, Andrea Del Pino. That's her first. First team now for St. Francis.
tonight's game is a little unique in the fact that it was supposed to be played about a week and a half ago. And unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties here in the Sacred Heart Cathedral Pavilion. So we rescheduled this game for 6 o'clock tonight. It is a league off day for the girls in the WCAL. The two lower level teams were able to play that night as they were hosted uh, in the other gym, in our Brother Arnold Stewart Gymnasium. For some of us alums, we know it as the old gym. So back to action here. That's why we're playing on a Tuesday night. KG Hard to bring it up the court. Over to Chelly. Chelly dumps the ball down into Oakland. Oakland back out to Chelly. Yihar for a long three-point basket. She had to be four or five feet past the line. And she nails it. Dylan Benitez, top of the key. Gonna hit Carmelo Marquez. Marquez to Leo Pereza with an easy layup. Another two points for Talo. She has seven early here in the first. Just under three minutes to go. Michaela Buenrostro. We're going to get a pass in and tipped out by the Irish. Andrea Delfino now checking into the game for the Lancers for Mia Grizel. E-hard to inbound. On the right side, now swung over to Chelly at the top of the key. Back to Buon Rostro. That three-point basket's gonna be good. Benitez with the layup. With a, with a layup. And we're gonna get a jump ball called. Although we're not quite sure when possession was being shared by both players, but that's going to be the call, and we're going to go the other way. Coach Lorian Russell doesn't agree too much with that, nor do uh, any of the fans on the Sacred Heart Cathedral side, but so it is, and here we go. Ball kicked out. The Andrea Delfino, she's long. The Irish push, Milan Tuttle to Kayla Yasukawa, who checked in for Demaya Lewis a minute ago. That ball is tipped. And goes the other way. And Milan Tuttle with a pick from behind knocks the ball out of bounds. 26 seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Just inside of two minutes. Irish lead by six. Maya Lewis heads to the table. She's going to check back in. Paige Ihara is going to leave it for Chelly. Chelly back to Ihara. Not much there. Out to Oakland at the top of the key. Now Ihara from about where she made the last one. Chelly, a, a three-point attempt. And that's going to go off the left. Lou Pereza with the rebound. She's going to run the floor. Gets the ball to Milan Tuttle. Back out to Benitez. To Nia Epps for three. Just off the back iron. Yihar to bring the ball back left to right. Yihar going to... Initiate contact on a drive to the hoop as she was backing out, but she's going to be bumped by Dylan Benitez. That's going to be her first foul. Second team foul against the Irish. Demaya Lewis and Carmelo Marquez return back to the lineup. Juan Tuttle with good defense. Now she's going to let her go by on the left side with a scoop with the right, Andrea Delfino. She's going to get her first two game, two, first two points of the game. Mia Grizel back to the table to check in at the next break. 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Naya Epps from just inside the three-point line. Good rebound by the Lancers. Emma Celli controlling the boards. Now Yihara. Brings it up nice and slow. Make sure the offense is set, ready to go. Shelly dribbles on the right side. We're going to get a foul going up. 
Irish foul is going to be on Irish foul, number zero, Milan number Tuttle, her first. Foul. To, the line, to the line is Emma Chelly, who is one for two so far from the line. First shot Make that two for three. Serena Payne and Payne Payne and Serena Payne checking in for the Lancers. And for the first time tonight for the Irish, number 12, Alani Gaynor. Molly Lampkin also, also going to check in for Nia Epps with 31 seconds to go. Emma Chelly to shoot the second of her freebies. She's going to miss there. She's two for four from the line so far. So with the tenths of a second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. The Irish are going to set it up from the top of the key. Carmela Marquez, Milan Tuttle is trying to work it over there. Over there to Demaya Lewis. Tuttle now in the corner. She's going to drive and get underneath the basket. And maybe an ill-advised pass. It's going to be a loose ball in the middle of the key. And dead ball. It's going to be Irish possession with four seconds to go. Four seconds to go on the game clock. Shot clock has been turned off. Milan Tuttle to inbound. Looking for Demaya Lewis underneath. Gets Carmelo Marquez outside the three-point line. And the ball is tipped. Long rebound to Demaya Lewis. Not quite sure of how much time was left on the clock. But at the end of the first quarter, Sacred Heart Cathedral leads 15. St. Francis Lancers 12. We'll be back in one minute on SHC TV. Welcome back. Second half of the first half, beginning of the second quarter. The Irish lead 15 to 12 over the Lancers. St. Francis to inbound to Paige Ihara, who is going to dribble back out to the top of the key and set up the offense. Ihara dribbles right. And she's got Oakland at the top of the key. Now the ball kicked over to Delfino. Delfino to Grizel, who puts on a good move on Molly Lampkin and can't get the left hand to go. Demaya Lewis fighting for the rebound. The scrum chasing the ball, and Demaya knocks it out of bounds. So the possession's going to stay with the Lancers. You are to inbound. The long pass to... Maya Grizel. Now Yihara to dribble in. Pass dumped off to Grizel. She's going to be heavily defended. Ball's going to end up in Demaya Lewis's hands. Demaya Lewis down the court. This ball is going to be rebounded and kicked out of bounds by the Irish. It's going to be St. Francis' ball. Paige Ihara, one of nine St. Francis seniors on the roster this year. That's a travel by Andrea Delfino. Possession of the Irish is Talo Liu Pereza is going to check back in for Alani Gaynor. Nine seniors for the Lancers. Here where we celebrate senior night for Sacred Heart Cathedral as well as we do at every last home game. The Irish only with two graduating seniors. Andrea Delfino 
with a steal and a layup for an easy two, and it's a one-point game. There's Talo Liu Pereza, one of our seniors. And the other senior just came out of the game, Kayla Yasukawa. Always a nice night when we honor those players along with their families, as well as honoring our visiting players as well. Molly Lampkin coming out of the game for Dylan Benitez. Since St. Francis decided to slow the game down a little bit, they've crawled right back. It was a 15 to six lead at one time. Now an inside pass to Mia Grizel from Yihara, and they now have the lead. But Grizel with her first points of the night. Carmela Marquez over to Tuttle. Milan Tuttle who missed most of the season with a broken foot. Most of the league season for sure. Tuttle for three, that's gonna be off and long. Carmela Marquez with a steal. And drive to the hoop and she's gonna be fouled. Paige Jihara with the foul. That's her first, second team foul. Carmelo Marquez, a 5'6 junior. In and out on her first attempt. Marquez's second attempt is up. And that's going to go. For Marquez with her first point of the night. Nihara and Oakland trying to get through the Irish. Coach, Coach Russell thinks they might have missed a walk call right in front of him as the ball gets kicked out to me and Grizel for three. Liu Pereira to the bucket, up and under on a tough layup, splitting the defense. Liu Pereira with her ninth point of the night. About 5.15 to go here in the second quarter. Irish now trail by one. Off to a very fast start. They were up eight to one at a point. Yihara, right hand all the way to the basket over Liu Pereza. And that goes for her. Liu Pereza with the ball. Talo dribbles in with her left hand up the left side. The ball's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Blocked and knocked out of bounds by Mia Grizel. Into the Lancers is going to be Natalia Grizel. As well as Michaela Buonrostro. Inbound pass to Demaya Lewis on the left side and an easy lay in for Lewis. The Irish still trail one. Ihara on the right side to Delfino, back to Ihara. Ihara dribbles it off her foot, and that's going to go in the other direction. Kicked out of bounds by Paige Ihara as she's trying to drive into the open lane. Carmelo Marquez inbounds to Milan Tuttle, who's going to get picked from behind by Andrea Delfino. Back to Ihara, who's going to stop for three. And that ball is good. So a difficult turnover. Picked from behind by Delfino. Results in a three-point basket by Paige Ihara. Carmela Marquez with a two-pointer from the left side. The Irish are playing for their playoff lives tonight. Having to win three out of their last four to qualify for CCS. They had a thrilling victory at St. Ignatius a week and a half ago. Last week they lost to Archbishop Mitty and the great Sue Phillips and the even greater Haley Jones, Stanford bound Haley Jones. They traveled down to Valley Christian last Friday night where they controlled pace and tempo of the game the entire way. Coach Russell said might have been their best 
played game of the year. They beat the Warriors at Valley Christian, forcing tonight's must win. We're gonna get an offensive foul and a push off by Emma Chelly. And she tries to make room for herself driving in. As soon as that, as soon as she extends that arm, that's gonna be a guaranteed foul. A guaranteed foul. So that's the third team foul. One of the first on her. Tuttle to Benitez. Benitez from the top of the key is going to put it into Naya Epps to a cutting to a cutting Benitez who pass is going to be just a little bit long out of her way out of her reach so Mia Grizel to check back into the game she's going to come in originally her sister thought she was coming in for her but no the Grizel sisters are going to stay on Emma Chelly checks out Paige Ihara with a long pass cross court to Buen Rostro. And if she's going to drive the hoop, Talo Liu Pereso is going to meet her there and knock that ball out of bounds. Clean block out of bounds. Demaya Lewis returns to the court to give Milan Tuttle a break. St. Francis ball out of bounds. Mia Grizel from a long three. And that's going to go for her. That's her second three point basket of the night. Very, very talented Grizel. From the center position. Plays big on the inside, and she can shoot from the outside. It's a five point lead now for the Irish. Or, sorry, a five point deficit for the Irish. Paige Hara to dribble down, uncontested, until she runs into Liu Pereza, and a layup's gonna go up over Liu Pereza. Paige Hara with two more. Naya Epps, her three-point attempt is blocked, and a steal's gonna go past and out of bounds. So Irish are gonna get control here. Tao Liu Pereza is going to come out of the game. Kayla Yasukawa, the other senior, checks in. Milan Tuttle is going to check in for Carmelo Marquez, and Tuttle is going to take it out. So fresh shot, shot clock, two minutes to go in the quarter. Benitez from the top of the key. That pass is going to cross the half court line. That's going to be a backcourt violation. So the Irish, from their hot start, have gotten a little sloppy here in the second quarter. Trying to push pace again. Good defense on the inbound pass. Benitez going to card, going to guard Yihara. Coming up. Yihara from the top of the key. Into Grizel in the middle of the key. Defended by Yasukawa. Nice job by Kayla to force a miss. Irish rebound. Now Tuttle looking to make a move. From outside the three-point line, Benitez back to Tuttle. Trying to get the ball into Yasukawa, who's going to look to pass it back out. And we're going to get a foul call. Foul call on Andrea Delfino, who might have been a little questionable as to who the foul was on. I don't, I didn't see Delfino underneath, but she's going to take that foul and make sure Grizel stays in the game a little bit longer. Lancers with a steal. Benitez, Ihara pulls up from three, and that is good. Maya Lewis trying to get some offense going. She's going to be fouled on her shot attempt from just inside the right elbow. 
Lancer foul is going to be on number 21, Michaela Juan Rostro. Tamaya Lewis to shoot. Checking into the game for the Irish is going to be Carmelo Marquez for Nia Epps. A minute to go. Her second one is good for Demaya Lewis. Demaya Lewis with nine points in the half. Under a minute to go. And Francis is going to take her time bringing it up. Ihara drive all the way to the basket. That right hand up and under. Not the first time she's done it tonight. And she's had a monster half so far for the Lancers. Three three-pointers. She has 15 points total. Now Benitez with a step back three, and that's good to go. So Benitez with her three-point basket to get the Irish within eight. 15 seconds to go. St. Francis to drive. Paige Ehar looking to get back into the key where she's had a lot of success. A spin move and a left hand. That's going to go off. Mia Grizel with the rebound and back up. She's going to miss. Now Demaya Lewis with a shot attempt. That's blocked by Andrea Delfino. And that's how the half is going to end. So we're going to step away for a few minutes. The visiting Lancers lead the hometown fight in Irish, 34-26. We hope you come back and join us here on SHC TV.
Welcome back to Fighting Irish Basketball here live on YouTube, SHC TV Sports. This being our 30th broadcast of the year between basketball, girls volleyball, boys basketball, girls basketball. We've got three wrestling matches under our belt. Trying to find somebody who can man the equipment and engineer during the spring seasons as we'd like to get some baseball up. We'd like to get some lacrosse up. Unfortunately, most of our students that help us with the broadcast are also spring sport athletes. So the second half is going to kick off with Irish possession. They trail by eight. Maya Lewis with the ball on the right side. She's going to shoot from just outside the elbow. A little strong. Molly Lampkin with the rebound. Put back in. Put back up. And that's not going to go as Mia Grizel controls for the Lancers. They push it up the court. Paige Ihara, who had a huge first half with 15 points to lead all scores. Three big three-pointers. Mia Grizel with two big three-pointers. Now the ball inside. Tipped out of her hand by Lee Pereza. Rolls right back to him. Three-point shot by Telly is going to go long. Marquez with the ball to control for the Irish. And she's going to get on the floor and get it out to Dylan Benitez. Benitez to Lee Pereza inside to Lampkin. And we're going to have a jump ball. So a lot of action in the first minute of the second half with nothing to show for it for either team so far. As we were saying, the Irish are playing for their playoff hopes. CCS rules dictate that you got to either be 500 overall, 500 in league, or 500 out of league. And the Irish right now need a win right here to finish 5-5 five and five in league. Carmelo Marquez from the corner. That three-point basket's going to go off. Timeout on the court taken by Coach Lorian Russell. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. So 500 in league where the Irish sit right now. They are 4-5. and five. Overall, they're 9-12. and 12. making them five and seven out of league. So their hope relies on this game tonight. St. Francis has qualified, although they're two and seven in league, they are 13 and eight overall. So it's a very promising 11 and one non-league record for the Lancers. Seating meeting takes place Thursday, I believe. I could be corrected if somebody knows better. Pardon me for not doing all of my homework leading up to today. Ihara with a spin move in a left hand as the ball sits on the left side of the rim, spins around, and drops for two more points for Ihara. It's going to be a Irish foul on Carmela Marquez, her first. First team foul. First team foul for the Irish. Back into the Irish. Two more points for Yihara. She's going to have another one to shoot on her freebie. Now a 12 point lead for the Lancers. Make it 13. Yihara with 18 in the game so far. Dylan Benitez brings the ball up the court. Off to Liu Pressa, Liu Pressa to Marquez, who tries a running floater with the right hand. She's going to fall short as Mia Grizel is going to get the rebound. And St. Francis is going to slow it down again as they bring it up the court. Yihara to Oakland. Back to Yihara. Yihara Grizel, where she's had some good shots from out there. Now in the paint, a couple of spin moves and a pump fake. Gets Molly Lampkin up off the off her feet in the air. 
Here comes an easy two-point bucket for Mia Grizel. Now Lee Perez to run the point. She's going to drive and shoot from the right side. And that's going to be long. She's going to be fouled going up on her shot. Lancer foul is going to be on 11. Jessica Oakland, her first. Talo Lee Paresa to shoot two. First one going to be good for Paolo. Kaylee Asakawa to check back into the game for Molly Lampkin. Lee Paresa. Two for two from the stripe. She's got 11 tonight. Oakland uncontested drive all the way to the hoop where she's going to go up. She's going to miss her layup. But she is going to be fouled on her way up by number 32, Kaylee Yasukawa, her first. Second team foul of the half for the Irish. Jessica Oakland to the line. Two Her first shot is up and good. Her second is good. So Oakland with a pair of free throws for her first two of the night. Marquez now on the right side as Yihar is going to try and Jump in to steal a pass, but there's going to be a blocking foul on number 32, Kayla Yasukawa. Must be why Yihara was shoved so far across the court going for the steal. So Yasukawa with two quick fouls here in the third quarter. Oakland drive again, kicked out to Chelly. Chelly with the right hand all the way to the hoop. Talalu Perez gets her hand in there and it's tipped and the Irish are going to get the ball in control. As they're going to push up the court, Lee Perez down the left side. Inside bucket for Tyler Louis Perez. Two more points for her. And the Irish trail 13 with four and a half to go here in the third quarter. Lee Perez tips the ball out of Oakland's hands. Lancers recover. Yihara with the ball at the top of the key. She's going to drive the left side as she's going to force a pass into Grizel, and it's not going to go. And the Irish with the takeaway. Carmelo Marquez's pass to Kayla Yasukawa a little bit too hot as it gets through her hands and out of bounds. The Lancers are going to call timeout here with 4.09 to go in the third quarter. It's a 30 second timeout. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. For those of you that have tuned in all year long, we really appreciate it. We have a wonderful student staff that's covered most every game for us all year long. Tonight we've got a couple of sophomores, Jem Collado and Ethan Hom, with our camera and our engineering work. I'd also like to thank Adam C. Zach Leung and Nino Balistreri. They've done a lot of behind camera work. Camille Plant, our senior, who's done numerous games for us. She, did, she called football games, she called volleyball games, and is now getting going with girls lacrosse. So her availability has been lessened, but she's done a wonderful job for us this year. As well as other names like Keyshawn Ogan, Diego Padilla, Adrian Gonzalez, Danny Hindelider. It's been a small group who's covered a lot this year, and I am very, very grateful for that. Irish with a steal. Back down the court, Lee Peresa. Kicked out to Marquez. She's going to drive, and the ball's going to be stripped by Andrea Delfino. We're going to call another tip. Coach Russell asking for a double dribble. It looked like me and Grizel had possession, lost possession, had possession, dribbled again. Going to get a missed layup here by the Lancers and control back out to Ihara at the top of the key. Lon Tuttle makes her way back to the table. So we'll see her at the next break. 
Oakland behind her back. Now dribbles out, being well defended by Lee Peresa. Alani Gaynor on Chelly. Carmela Marquez. Good defense here by the Irish. They've gotten a couple of consecutive stops. Now they gotta get a couple of consecutive baskets. Draw themselves back in. Marquez down the left side. She's gonna miss on a layup. Rebounded by Jessica Oakland. And Yara's gonna hold the ball. And we're gonna sit and wait. Delfino hands off to Yihara. Yihara to the top of the key. The Lancers to set up the offense. Yihara with a dribble down the left side. Free lane to the basket. She's going to miss the layup, but she is going to get herself to the line. Irish foul is going to be on number 10, Dylan Benitez. Her second. Team foul number four for the Irish. Paige Yihara to the line to shoot, too. And that's a rarity that she misses one. Michaela Bonrostro into the game for the Lancers. Checking in for the first time is Maya Medina for the Irish, along with Milan Tuttle and Demaya Lewis. We'll get some fresh legs on the court. Paige Yihar to shoot. She's good on her second. Big night for her, Demaya Lewis. Going to drive down and be blocked by Maya Grizel. An empty possession for the Irish. Now going the other direction. Ball is lost and then recovered and dribbled out of bounds by Michaela Bonrostro. So the Irish can catch a break there. Now let's see if the Irish can catch a bucket on the other end. Carmela Marquez, dribble in. Now she's looking to dribble out as Yihara pokes it away from her and she recovers. Talo Liu Preza from the top of the key. We are gonna get a blocking foul, a holding foul on Andrea Delfino, her third personal foul. Serena Payne going to check in for Delfino. Irish ball out of bounds. Milan Tuttle from the right side, from the right wing. Trying to force the ball into Lee Peresa. And we're going to get a reach around foul against number 12, Emma Celli, her second. That's her foul, number 12, Emma Celli. That's her second. A minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. New shot clock. Inbound pass from Tuttle to Lewis. Demaya Lewis from underneath for an easy two. She's had a couple of those. And Demaya Lewis continuing a good night of scoring here for herself. Trying to will the Irish back into the game. Down 12. Paige Ihara with the drive. And a shot that's not going to go. Carmelo Marquez with the foul, her second foul. Paige Hard to the line for the Lancers. Two shots. Paige Hard to shoot. First shot is good. Dylan Benitez, thank you. Hard is going to make the first. Dylan Benitez is going to check in for Carmelo Marquez. One shot remaining. Yihara is going to make both of them. Checking back in the game is going to be Jessica Oakland. Lee Perez with the drive down the left side, and we're going to get a blocking foul now on Mia Grizel. That's going to be Grizel's. Oh, I apologize. That foul was on number 12. Emma Celli, that's her third personal foul. Lou Peresa with her first shot up and good. 
into the Lancers, for the Lancers, Natalia Grizel, to replace Jessica Oakland. Jessica Oakland, daughter of St. Francis baseball coach, Mike Oakland. Dylan Benitez with good defense and then a misstep and we're going to get a travel call against Serena Payne. Possession to the Irish with 41.4 seconds to go. The Irish would certainly like to get this down to single digits before the fourth quarter begins. They're playing a little more spirited in the second part of the third quarter. Liu Parisa with a step back three. Jump shot good for Talo. Another big scoring night for her. Has been a wonderful leader on the court for the Irish this year. The drive to the basket by Michaela Bonrostro. She's going to draw contact in a foul. Milan Tuttle. That's her second foul. 16 fouls in the quarter. She is two. Michaela from the line. Her first, first shot, shot is up and good. Vaughn Rostro. goes two for two. Two for two from the line. She's got five tonight. Under 10 seconds to go. Liu Perez is going to drive down and kick out to Dylan Benitez. And on the pass, they're going to get a player control foul on Liu Perez. Coach Russell is beside himself. As we watch, defensively not set. The ball is out of her hand. She takes the fall. As I'm watching the replay here as it streams live. That's a call that should not happen. And we're going to get Paige Yihara being forced out of bounds by Milan Tuttle. And as she falls, the ball falls. The Irish are going to get the ball back with two seconds to go. And we're going to take a 30-second timeout for Coach Russell to draw up a play. Irish trail by 12. Two seconds to go in the third quarter. It's kind of amazing that you you go all off season, you go all season, and it's all going to boil down. Your postseason hopes are going to boil down to the last eight minutes of the year. The Irish had played shorthanded earlier in the year when sophomore point guard Milan Tuttle with the broken foot. They had a great win against St. Ignatius at Cal early in the season without Tuttle. We've had a couple of hard luck games. Demaya Lewis on a drive to the basket with time running out. And we're going to get no foul call. So we're going to go into the break of the fourth quarter here with the Irish down 12. Stay tuned. We'll be back on SHC TV. As both teams break huddle from 
in between quarter talks. We're set here ready to begin the fourth quarter. Irish possession, down 12, eight minutes to go. Tuttle inbounds the ball to Benitez. Benitez is going to bring it up the left side. Hand off to Demaya Lewis, who's going to get back to Tuttle at the top of the key. Kaylee Yasukawa sets a, she sets the screen for her, and Tuttle gives it up. Back to Lee Peresa. Yasukawa with the ball underneath. A little jump step, and we're going to get a travel call against Yasukawa. Emma Chelly back into the game for St. Francis. Jessica Oakland inbound. And Lancers bring the ball up the court. Good defense by Benitez. Now Oakland gets the drive off. Her shot's going to be hard and rebounded by Lou Perez. And it's going to go back the other direction. Going to give the ball to Benitez. Swing it over to Milan Tuttle. Milan Tuttle with a long three. And that ball is good. Milan Tuttle with her first points of the game. I have a hard time remembering when her last shot of the game was. So the Irish into single digits. Looking for a stop here. Can't trade bucket for bucket right now. Long skip pass over to the left side. Three point attempt by Michaela Von Rostro is short. Irish with the rebound. Benitez the control from the top of the key. Over to Leo Pereza. Back to Benitez. Benitez back to Talo. Kayla Yasukawa with a good move. Spin to the left. And that's going to go for Kaylee Asakawa, her first two points of the night. Loose ball. Now St. Francis has numbers at three on two. They're going to kick this ball out to the wing where Mia Grizel is going to be off. And the Irish is going to get another one here. Good play by Yasakawa. Running the floor. Inside bucket by Yasakawa. And all of a sudden, we've got a five-point game. It's a 7-0 run for the Irish with six minutes to go. Excellent job. Get a missed three-pointer in the corner from Mia Grizel. Demaya Lewis with the rebound, the long pass to Kaylee Yasukawa, and it's up and under, and we're down five. Nice job by the Irish. They're back dictating on defense. And they're running the floor on offense. A couple of high percentage shots. Spirited play by the two seniors, Lou Peresa and Yasukawa. To help lead this spark. And Milan Tuttle's big three-point basket to start this run. Lancer coach Sammy Pompey with a quick timeout. Regroup her girls. I'm sure that they're going to slow down the pace as they did in the first half, which has got them back into the game and then up into a 12 point lead. Now the Irish on the press. Yihara with the ball. Guarded by Benitez. Dribbles with the right hand from the middle of the court, just outside the Shamrock. Benitez with a nice job there. Switch on defense. Switch back. Ten to go on the shot clock. Yihara has... Kicks out to Chelly in the right corner. Now a skip pass to the other side. Three-point basket is off by Andrea Delfino. And the Irish to run the floor again. Yasukawa and Lee Presa get together for the same pass, but the Irish control. Lee Presa trying to force it into Yasukawa is going to tip it out and get a shot to Demaya Lewis who's going to make it. Demaya Lewis with another two-point basket. The Irish trail three. Paige Ihara now double team at the top of the key. She's going to get this pass away. A nice job. And Ocelli with the layup. Get control back to the Lancers. Five-point game, just under five minutes to go. Here at Christian Brothers Court. 
Tyler Liu Perissa swings the ball around. Milan Tuttle step back three, and it's good. It's good, and she is fired up. Two point game, four and a half to go. Emma Chelly dribbles all the way around everybody from the left side with the right hand and an easy lay in. I know everybody trying to stay out of the way of fouls. That's a fairly uncontested layup. Not their first. Benitez dribbles into the middle of the key. Pass goes off to Demaya Lewis, out to Milan Tuttle. Demaya Lewis now forcing it in, trying to force it into Kaylee Asakawa, and that ball's turned over. You hard to slow it down. 15 to go on the shot clock. That's a turnover and a steal. Milan Tuttle with the left hand. The pass to Benitez, who's going to dribble out. And a big block. And foul. The way that ball came out of her hand, I didn't see. I didn't see. But we're going to get a foul call against number 11, Jessica Oakland. We have seen that both ways tonight. So Demaya Lewis now to shoot two. Shot by Lewis. The first one is up and good. Maya Medina to check in for Kaylee Yasakawa, who's had a wonderful court. Maya Lewis with one shot remaining. Looking for a big rebound here. Maya Lewis with the dribble and the shot is up. And it is good. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. It's going to be a full timeout. Lorian Russell, Sacred Heart Cathedral coach, going to call a timeout and set this up. Each team with two full timeouts remaining. So we're gonna step away for one minute and gather our breath, and we'll be back at it for the last three and a half here on SHC TV. Welcome back to the campus Sacred Heart Cathedral. The Irish trailed 12 at the end of the third quarter. Now they trail by two. St. Francis to inbound. We've got three and a half to go in a two point ball game. Ihara with a pass to Chelly. Chelly tries to kick it out. That's going to get, she's going to get kicked behind. Not quite sure how, there's no foul calls or anything as Chelly gets behind the defense. And nice job by Tala Lee Perisa defending the layup and knocking the ball out of bounds. Some pretty quick play. The ball ends up out of bounds, Lancers retain control. 22 seconds to shoot. Chelly from the top, over to Oakland. Oakland to Yihara who who has been lethal tonight. St. Francis moving the ball around, a long three-point shot by Oakland is off, and a big rebound by Liu Perisa, and we're gonna get a foul call as she's trying to get the ball out and on its way. St. Francis foul is gonna be on number 24. Mia Grizel, her first. Team foul number six. So both teams will be in the one-on-one -on -one bonus on the next foul. Liu Perez to drive to the hoop, a little short with the right hand, and Grizel comes down with the rebound. 
2.41 to go in the game. Yahara takes her time. She's going to dribble left behind her back. Dylan Benitez with good defense, forcing her to her left. Liu Pereza with another block. It's got to be her fourth or fifth of the evening. The Irish going to push the ball up court. Milan Tuttle going to give it back to Benitez. Back to Tuttle. Tuttle wide open three. And that ball is good. And the Irish are back up one. Milan Tuttle, three consecutive three-pointers for herself. It's a 53-52 lead with 2.01 to go in the game. We heard nothing from Milan Tuttle all night, and she has nine points in the quarter. Three-point attempt by Paige Yohara is in and out. Her first missed three of the night. And the Irish are going to go the other way. We're going to get a timeout on the floor. Full timeout taken by Lorian Russell. It's a minute and 44 to go. The Irish lead by one. They climb back from a 48-36 deficit at the end of the third quarter. He's, Coach Russell has the entire huddle captivated right now. What a great job by the Irish. The sophomore Milan Tuttle with three big three-pointers. Talo Liu Pereza, who continues to impress all night long. She's got 15 points tonight. Two big buckets by senior Kaylee Asakawa. She's only got four points on the night, but they could not have come at a better time. Demaya Lewis, who has also played a wonderful game. She's got 14 points. But great defense. Couple of easy buckets off of inbounds. I gotta say, so far though, my player of the game's gotta go to Talo Liu Pereza, who I'm not keeping track, but has to have five blocks tonight, if not more. If not more. Great defense has climbed this Irish ball club right back into the game and the ability to execute on the offensive side. Rebounding, timely three-point shots. Benitez being guarded by Yihara. Over to Demaya Lewis and she's gonna stutter step and travel, not the one you wanted. Possession goes to the Lancers with a minute 27 to go. Irish lead by one. The next foul for either team is gonna put the other team at the free throw line for a one and one. If it's a non-shooting foul. He hard to control from the top of the key. Over to Chelly. Chelly back to Yihara. Now the pass inside to Jessica, Jessica Oakland is gonna bank off the backboard. And the Lancers regain the lead. Oakland with five points tonight. Benitez is going to pass left to Liu Pereza. Talo is going to give to Demaya Lewis with an easy layup. With 51 seconds, the Irish are back up by one. Liu Pereza runs the court. Just great vision. She's an absolute monster inside. Now we're going to get a timeout on the court. Taken by the Lancers with 35.3 seconds to go. Each team has one full timeout remaining. On a ball club that did not see a whole lot of experience last year. They're graduating two seniors. They're carrying one freshman. They've got four sophomores, pardon me, three sophomores that are all contributing to help these two seniors out. Coach Lorian Russell has done an outstanding job all year long. All year long of keeping this group together, keeping them focused, preparing them for the next 35 seconds. I'd have to say as a coach myself, the best part of playing a meaningful game as your last game of the year 
prepares you for playoff basketball. In our case, playoff baseball. Sometimes when you run through league, or you know that you're already in, you have nothing really to play for, you tend to get a little lax, create some bad habits as the season wears on. But the Irish have been forced to play their best basketball of the year in the last two weeks. Pass inside to Mia Grizel is gonna go up and a bucket is good and she is fouled as well. So we're gonna count the bucket. The Irish foul is gonna be on 24 to Maya Lewis. Her first. Mia Grizel with 12 points tonight. She's gonna shoot one for the bonus and she's gonna make and the Lancers now lead by two. So she completes the three point play. Coach Russell is going to take his last timeout with 26.2 on the clock. Final timeout for the Irish. They trail by two. The shot clock is off. What a very entertaining game here on senior night. for the Irish, recognizing our two seniors, Kaylee Asakawa and Talo Liu Paresa, for four wonderful years dedicated to the basketball program. Good crowd tonight for a crowd not expecting to come and see a game here on Tuesday. As I'm guessing across the city over in the sunset, things might be getting a little crazy over there. The Fighting Irish boys basketball team taking on the Wildcats in their final league matchup. That tip off is set for about 10 minutes away. And I know that you can watch that game on S the SI Sports Network through their YouTube channel as well. So when we're done here, catch a back end of a doubleheader. Support Prep Sports. Both teams playing well, and it's always fun to watch when those two teams get together. Cy winning the first matchup. Fairly lopsided at Cal Berkeley. Both teams have qualified for the CCS there, but you talk about playoff atmosphere, you're going to get that in the sunset. 25 seconds to go. The ball's inbounded. Milan Tuttle's going to dribble up court. She's guarded by Andrea Delfino. Tyler Liu Perez are looking to make a move. And we're going to get a shooting foul. I thought, if anything, Liu Perez might have pushed off to create space. But we're going to get the call as in the act of shooting. So Liu Perez, who is no, no stranger to clutch free throws, and she had to make two big ones against St. Ignatius to tie the game and send it into overtime earlier in the season makes one of one Lee Perez is going to miss her second and now with 12 seconds to go we're going to get a foul Lee, Lee Perez with the foul it's going to be one and one going the other direction as Jessica Oakland is going to stride to the free throw line in a one and one count or one and one shot 10.6 seconds to go. Carmelo Marquez going to check back into the game for Maya Medina. Mia Grizel to check out. Michaela Von Rostro to check in. Jessica Oakland makes her first. We're back to a two point game. Second shot by Oakland is going to be missed. It's a two-point game, but Yihara with the with a big with a big big rebound. As Talo Liu Paresa is going to foul Yihara from behind. It's going to be a two-shot foul and the double bonus. Lancers asking for an intentional foul. 
Yes, I do think it is intentional, but I don't think there's any malicious intent to injure. But Yihara, who has made just about everything this evening, first shot is up and good. It's a three-point game with 7.8 seconds to go. So the Irish are going to need a little bit of help here. 59-56. Second shot by Yihara is good. Liu Perez said the drive and a basket. We're going to get a player control foul with 1.8 seconds to go. And that's going to do it. That is going to do it for the Irish. That's going to wrap it up. As Lou Price is going to come out of the game, Alani Gaynor is going to check in. Oakland is going to inbound, gets the ball to Shelly, and we're going to get a foul call here with one-tenth of a second to go. An emotional night here on the court for the Irish. Talo Liu Presa played her heart out. Kayla Yasukawa played her heart out. The whole Irish team, what a wonderful job. St. Francis Climbed their way back in, did just enough to hold them off, and a couple key baskets down the, down the end. And we're good to go. So Emma Chelly is going to hit both of them, and with one tenth of a second, inbound to Benitez. And that's going to be your ball game. The final here from Christian Brothers Court is going to be 62-56. The Irish are going to fall, as well as, unfortunately, their season's going to come to a conclusion tonight. So thank you for tuning in all year long to SHC TV Sports here on YouTube. We look forward to our next broadcast when we get an opportunity. Remember, everything that you've seen this year, you can go back and watch again. And until our next broadcast, this is Greg Franceschi for the rest of our crew signing off. You're watching SHC TV Sports.